Okay, how did we get the very first F-117 RC stealth plane to fly? So the first thing that we did is that we took the scale plane, you know, we took the Google images and said, okay, how can we make that a little bit more cartoon size and make that bigger, more stable, and then work our way down to a scale look. So making it with way wider wings, way taller tails, that allowed us to eliminate certain things. Then we would land it and cut an inch off of each wing, make it thinner, 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 until finally it would just start to wing rock out of control because it was too thin. And guess what? Now we have exact numbers. Ah, meaning we know if you add or subtract an inch, you're going to have this problem or that problem. These planes are not these sizes or dimensions because we wanted them that way. It's because we've been forced into them. And go ahead, add or subtract and see what happens. And then from there, we uh, kept the tails taller. We made them a little bit taller and angled them a little different. As long as the dimensions are pleasing what the aerodynamics need, but the human eye is seeing kind of the same and feeling the same essence, then we're good. Because you've seen those planes out there that just, they look wrong, they feel wrong, and the designers are doing that because they're trying to make the plane stable, but your eye is catching it. Now, the third thing, and this is the biggest thing, is the tweaking and the angling of the control surfaces. The real F-117, those wings are angled so far back, the ailerons are almost like Bombay doors. I mean, they're flapping in the wind sideways. And we were really having that problem where the stealth would only be stable at super high speeds. So by just stepping at back one night and looking at it, going, okay, can I leave that alone and just angle the hinge? Can I get away with that? And uh, voila, that's what we did. So again, tricking the human eye and, and pleasing the aerodynamic gods. And a lot of these little silly tricks, we cover this in our RC Ultimate course, just stuff like this that just works. And then number four, last one, famous but simple, is just fly that plane a little bit nose heavy. Because the plane is inherently a little bit unstable, especially when it comes into land, it can pitch up. It's just getting used to flying the plane a little nose heavy with a little bit of up elevator trim, a little reflex, they call it. That's just going to make it more stable. But now the larger one, because it can take gyros and the control surfaces are bigger and you can put V-tails on it, you know, we'll fly the center of gravity neutral or even tail heavy and because it's got more controls and room for gyros. So again, this plane isn't just one design. This has been years with a lot of different people from around the world contributing to ideas, making this F-117 what it is. So there's our secrets. Uh, make sure to sell them the Hobby King for a dollar. And uh, there you go. So let me know in the comments, what little tricks have you found with planes that you've flown that either have been very unstable or known to be unstable and little hacks or tips that you've done to make an unstable plane actually be flyable. Also, if you're looking to get this plane or any other scratch build plane of ours, they come free in the RC Ultimate course. And the course is everything you need to know to get into RC, get set up, fly, crash, repair, do the tricks, get advanced stuff, everything. It's on our website, look it over. It's gonna help you a lot because everything we know literally is in there. And we'll be back next Monday with more RC videos. So subscribe to see those.